So Hugs and Kisses launched our community health and wellness program and through community health and wellness we create, implement, evaluate and promote model projects that demonstrate how a theater can effectively address social and educational issues. So Virginia Repertory Theater was founded in 2012 as the result of the merger between Barksdale Theater, which was Central Virginia's first professional theater founded in 1953, and Theater 4, which was founded by Bruce Miller and Phil Whiteway in 1975. Families Forward Virginia has a, a great working relationship with Virginia Repertory Theater in that we work to help children and work towards preventing child abuse and neglect. So that is at the heart of the Hugs and Kisses program. In 1983, no one was talking with children about child sexual abuse. Ann Childress with the Virginia Department of Social Services called up Theater 4. And so she asked if we'd be interested in writing the world's first play to talk directly with children K through five about this issue of child sexual abuse. As it turned out, the performances were so well received that we in fact booked 170 performances that year. And we've continued to book 170 performances in Virginia schools since 1983. I am your friend. Like all good things, sometimes hugging and kissing and affectionate touching are used in the wrong way. And when you're a little kid, it can be hard to tell the difference between good touching and mm. other kinds of touching that aren't so good. Most big kids like us have learned the difference, but some of us learn it too late. It follows a young girl who is being sexually abused by her stepfather. And she's playing with her friends one day and they just see that she's kind of uncomfortable with different types of touching, good touching, hugs and stuff. And so the play follows her story and it shows how she gets help. At the end of the play, they find Gemma, they explain to her, they tell her um, that she can talk to someone and get help and she does and that's the best part of the story. I played Katie. Katie throughout the story kind of realizes that she should be aware of what she's saying to people because she doesn't know what's going on in their lives at home. And I think that that's a good lesson to take in is knowing that you should watch how you speak to someone or just not assume that you know what's going on with them. The emotions are in the script. And that's one thing I always tell my cast, let the script speak for itself. You don't have to milk it. It's, it'll stand up on its own. So having an actor portraying a child who's been sexually abused without, you know, turning on the tears and all that, I think it helps us to better make the point that we're trying to make. There's a few things in that question. First off... You may not be able to stop at the first time. Yeah, you may not be able to stop at the first time, but eventually you will be able to get away, and then you can tell a trusted adult. The aspect of having kids come up and asking questions about this after the show was very daunting. Because you never know, like, is a kid gonna raise their hand and blurt out a disclosure? But um, by the end of the show, I think all of us, that was our favorite part, was the Q&A. What if you tell someone and they don't believe you? You tell another trusted adult. You keep telling someone until um, eventually you will get the help that you need. There, there it is, yeah. So a lot of the times when the, the students raise their hands and ask our actors questions, it has something to do with, what do I do if this happens and all of our actors know you need to turn to a trusted adult. So a lot of it is directed towards, who's that trusted adult in your life? You need to talk to them. Oh, I can be a trusted adult. Come talk to me, and then I will introduce you to another adult who you can speak to. Hearing those little teeny voices out there in the audience ask these questions, you know they're paying attention. You know they're getting something out of it. And we hope, and I think I'm safe in saying, that some of these kids are learning how to protect yeah, themselves. To recognize what secret touching is yeah. and make sure that it stays out of your life forever. forever. Remember, secret touching is never the child's fault. It's such a hard age because they, they don't fully understand maybe what's going on and what's happening to them. And so the play teaches them in an age-appropriate way 
what this is and what's going on and how to get help. Once upon a time, once upon a time. Hugs and Kisses has changed a lot since 1983 when we first started with it. And it's not like any of our other shows, which I think are wonderful, uh, but just watching kids, when I go to see a show, one of our Hugs and Kisses productions, sitting in the audience looking around at the kids, they are riveted. It's been seen by 1.9 million Virginia students and for the vast majority of these students, it served as a prevention program that's delivered life-saving uh, safety messages that help them keep sexual abuse out of their futures. But for approximately 1% of these children, so 19,000 over the last 36 years, it served as an early intervention program. And those children have come forward after the show to disclose a personal experience with child sexual abuse. Families Forward is a really big part of this process, they're integral, and they help us set up with Child Protective Services that a, a social worker is present at every performance, it's a requirement. Uh, they also make sure that our teachers, school counselors receive a study guide, receive training materials for their teachers. Bruises or cuts or scratches, it's important that you say no and that you talk to a trusted adult about how it's making you feel and they can help you decide if it's secret touching or not. I think the coolest thing about Hugs and Kisses is it really allows children to be empowered to say no. You keep standing up for yourself, you keep speaking up and telling us a trusted adult. I have a good friend who always says that she believes that theater is the best way to promote empathy and sympathy. And I 100% agree with her on that, especially after uh, performing with Hugs and Kisses and working with Virginia Rep. This is the most important thing I've ever taken part in. Um, I love Hugs and Kisses. I love taking it out there uh, to the kids all around the state. Hope we can expand beyond the state of Virginia because uh, it's just a terrific, powerful, moving, important show. There's so much more that theater can do for people and for the world. Doing something that not only entertains but helps people, it's a fulfillment that I didn't know that I could achieve as an actor and that's just been the best part. I think after 35 plus years, the entire state of Virginia public school system sees the value, and uh, I think we've got a long life ahead of us still. Hugs and kisses, a perfect way to say, I am your friend.